so basically get the word out about this channel okay without further ado let's start taking stuff apart and figuring out why these expensive headphones failed I'm really angry about this okay cheers okay guys I was on an airplane flying to Turkey Bose headphones let me down I'm just about to do some video editing uh, pretty upset about this whole thing so uh, these Bose headphones are just gonna get torn apart when I get home find out what the problem is and have a proper moan at Bose about it cheers Okay, there's a goat. Oh, I'm loving that. That is awesome. Goat and the dog. Okay, so probably quite possibly one of the most irritating things to happen to you when you're on your flight is uh, for your extremely expensive Bose QC25 noise cancelling headphones to cease functioning and um, uh, then you have to listen to screaming children and you have to deal with uh, all the stuff you don't want to deal with. So um, without further ado, <laughs> we're going to see if we can pull these bad boys apart. The construction of these is really nice. Um, they have a single battery that, uh, that lives inside here. Um, the battery's in good shape. Uh, stuff are in relatively new battery and yeah you can turn it on you get a little a green light that comes on so yeah, yeah it's really uh, really quite irritating when this happens <laughs> uh, in fact I had to then go ahead and buy a pair of Sennheisers for 40 euros for the uh, flight home and the intention is to sell those on eBay so uh, we'll use this as a container for all the pieces that I pull out of that and okay what have we got right so I've already taken these apart as you'll probably see um, whilst I was working I took a screwdriver to them and uh, broke them <laughs> um, whoops oh, no. oh well that's that bit gone then Okay, so they're actually not uh, not too hard to take apart. You can pop the uh, these are layer pads off relatively easily, and you can get in here and pull these uh, pull these little protectors off. They've just got a little bit of sticky tape on them, little double sided sticky tape on them. And inside, we have some little tiny screws, which hopefully. Uh, with the use of a screwdriver we can undo those which then releases the back okay and the back is made of metal it's a little fiddly to get off come on come on come on come on there she is all right so that's um, to say that's uh, that's made of metal. It's got a little uh, it's got a little seal in it. You can see here a little hole there, uh, which aligns nicely with this microphone here, which has a little seal over it, and um, that is listening to the noise uh, outside of the headphones and uh, playing that an element of that noise back. Uh, out of phase with the speaker uh, in your ear uh, and that effectively is how they do the noise cancelling so um, let's just remind ourselves what's what's happening so we've got a, a, a cable here a little tiny tiny little uh, uh, four-way jack cable that plugs in and um, that has some controls on it which allow you to set the uh, the volume levels and answer calls. These headphones also have a microphone that allows you to actually answer calls. So if I find a, an audio source, so I'll just uh, find... I can hear quite clearly. Yeah, that, that, that uh, speaker is working a treat. And that one is absolutely not functioning. 
so um, uh, doo -doo -doo. I'll just press pause on that for a second uh, what I'd like to do I think is try and understand what is happening why this this speaker is not functioning so I can see there's some um, a connection here to the driver there's two pins here and here and um, in fact you know what let's just zoom in a little bit on this uh, on this board here there we go so we've got a uh, two connections here which run to this driver here and uh, this is the uh, this the speaker that's uh, on your ear. There's the little microphone. Uh, there's some kind of JTAG or whatever it is connection here, uh, which allows you to reprogram them or uh, program the, uh, the the DSP device that's probably inside here. And it looks like the printed circuit board is held on by a few different screws. And then we have um, a a multi-way one two three four five six seven eight way cable um, which goes to various places we'll have a look at that in a bit more detail in a moment then we have a one two three four way cable and if I just move down here this four way cable goes up here and uh, through the headphones so um, Interestingly, uh, the audio input comes in on the bottom of, of this headphone. This headphone, I'll zoom you back out. Doo -doo -doo. This headphone has no cable connections to it, but it does have the battery and the on off switch in it. And yet again, another little microphone, as you can see here, a little microphone hole. Um, and all the rest of it. So, uh, first things first, let's, uh, let's measure um, the uh, impedance of this guy here. Can you see the meter? Yeah, it looks like you can. Good, happy days. Let's just check the meter's working. Meter says my meter leads are 0.2 of an ohm, 0.1 of an ohm, so that looks like it's working okay. So we've got a 2 kilo ohm, a 2 kilo ohm, um, really? A 2 kilo ohm driver? That's quite high, isn't it? That's really quite interesting. 2 kilo ohms. Um, that doesn't sound right. Uh, I, I'd expect this to be sort of um, 32 ohms or 16 ohms but then that said maybe um, maybe 2 kilo ohms is is correct uh, I'm just going to pull the other unit apart because I would very much like to establish is that the same for this unit Um, a bit harder to measure. I do apologise if we're out of focus. Just bear with me a second. I need more than more than two more than two hands. Ah, right. Okay. Twenty nine. Twenty nine ohms. Oh, it looks like we've got a looks like we've got a driver that's died. Oh, boo. Well, that's a real shame, isn't it? So it would appear as though this driver has failed. Um, okay, so what 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 do we want to do here? Um, so this is registering as two kilo ohms, which is uh, not good. Let's see if we can pop the driver out. A couple of screws, one here. So we've got um. We've got the driver itself, the driver coil. You can see here. I'll be very careful when I poke. Ooh, it's quite, uh, it's quite a powerful magnet on that. You can see that uh, deforming ever so slightly. 
and we've got what looks like yep that's another microphone so we've got another microphone sitting over the top of that driver listening to the driver um, and uh, yeah that's really quite I mean to be fair to Bose they've done a really nice job of, 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 of engineering this from an audio perspective everything's sealed really well and um, you know isolated all of the different sounds inputs and outputs are isolated very well so yeah okay um, uh, give us a second here I'm gonna see if I can gain access to the back of this driver okay sadly it would appear as though we're really going to have to uh, ruin this to get into it uh, it's really uh, it's really very very well sealed uh, right so hopefully you can you can see in there um, <laughs> they've used some really really uh, tough glue uh, so there's that uh, all right we've exposed that driver just for grins let's get the bring the meter back into play here and um, let's just uh, let's just have a look at that driver yeah two kilo ohms apparently Okay, here's my soldering iron. That's the uh, American way of doing it. This is a, a Silverline USB soldering iron. It's not amazingly effective. Um, it's good for small things. <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, enough, enough jokes. Um, so, so we've got red closest to me, red at the bottom and silver at the top. Yeah, this driver is completely open circuit. We're on the we're on the pins here. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. So we've definitely got a Duff driver. So I just firing the uh, USB iron up again. Um, okay. Right. Well, let's uh, retouch some of the um, some of the solder joints in here. I'll try and zoom you in a little bit. There you go. Uh, retouch some of the solder joints in here. Uh. All right, uh, so just quickly then, I've um, pulled the, the, the cap off and uh, unsoldered the cables and whatnot. Um, so we just have a quick look and do do do, we are absolutely zero, 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 zero. Uh, this driver is deaded. Uh, which is a real shame. So, write to boss, Bose, whoever they are, write to the boss, <laughs> ask him to buy me a new pair. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll write to Bose, uh, see if they'll get me, um, uh, send me a replacement driver, uh, or see how much it would cost uh, to get these headphones repaired. Um, it is such a shame, such a shame. All right, guys and girls, my offer still stands. Uh, if you uh, are kind enough to put any of my videos uh, and share any of my videos on your social, on one of your a social site of your choosing, um, that would be fantastic. I will indeed send you a little uh, present. It won't be particularly expensive. It'll be something that will fit in an envelope. Um, I'll send you a wee prezi uh, to say thank you very much and uh, uh, thank you for being such a, a good supporter of the show. Cheers and beers, guys and girls. Have fun and um, uh, look forward to, to the next time. Bye. Right, okay, so I got the lid off the damn thing. Um, yeah, can't see, of, can't see anything obviously, obviously wrong. Okay, there's a goat. Oh, I'm loving that. That is awesome. Get the dog. <laughs>